So, there's been a recent development with Scream 6, which is rumored to actually be shooting today at the time of recording this video. I don't know if it is. It's a rumor, but, you know, I'm a pretty big Scream fan. Here's my Scream Blu-rays and 4Ks, right? So, I'm a big fan of Scream. Um, and I gotta say... So, the news is Nev Campbell basically was at a convention where this, she revealed to this dude that she's not going to be in Scream 6, that she actually declined the offer. Which has left a lot of fans being burned, right? Because Scream 1, Sydney. Scream 2, 3, Sydney. Scream 4, Sydney. You know, she's been the protagonist of all these movies for about a decade. So, kind of weird that when we're getting a new Scream movie, that she's not going to be the protagonist. Except, did we all forget Scream 5? Because, look, Scream 5 very much uh, was a wrap-up to the older legacy characters. I guess spoilers for a movie that came out in January. It is June at the time recording this video. If you have not seen Scream 5 yet, you are not going to see Scream, but spoilers anyways. Dewey dies in this movie. He dies. And, you know, I mean, there's going to be older characters returning in this new Scream movie, but most of them feel like that they're coming back to to just be there because the fans want them, you know? So, I don't feel like they're going to be a major part of the story in the same way the new characters or the focus in this new one, and he had older characters that were there but didn't take away the focus away. So, yeah, I... A lot of people are so mad that Nev Campbell's not going to be in it, which we don't know officially that she's not. This guy was very legit uh, with what he was saying because he did have a photo, and you could see the photo with um, him talking to Nev Campbell. and her. Uh, so he did have a conversation with her. I don't think she would have been allowed to reveal that, um, but it's possible she was, so I don't know. But... My theory here is the franchise is going to be fun because Scream has always uh, been about Sydney, but except for this new one, like I said, and it feels like it's time to move on from her. I mean, she didn't even really have a role in this last movie. I mean, she was there and she did stuff, but does she really need to be a part of this franchise if she's not going to have a major role like she used to? No, it's time to move on. It would have been nice to maybe see her get a good send-off in one movie, similar to the way Dewey did, though not in the same way I don't want him to die, her to die. Feels like that's wrong after everything she's been through as a character. But, you know, it did feel like it was time to move on from the Sydney character and let the franchise continue without her. So I'm not really upset with this news, actually. I know a lot of fans are very upset about it, but to me, it just doesn't make sense. Like, to be mad about this news and not acknowledge the fact that Scream 5 really didn't have that much to do with her character. I mean, the franchise is moving on without her, and you gotta acknowledge that actors die. Like, I'm not saying she's old enough and she's gonna die soon, but what I am saying is, like, you know, actors get older and they can't keep doing this forever. They're people, you know. So, I, I feel like it was okay. You know, we don't need to make Scream like Halloween, right? Where we have, have to bring back Jamie Lee Curtis every single damn reboot or sequel we make or whatever, you know. I've, it's time to move on. And I'm, I'm okay with this news. I'm happy with it. It all works out, I think, in the end.